hi fellow enthusiasts welcome to my channel let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up welcome back to part two of this series i will show you this r433 in the first part of this series where we transmitted the audio that came in through the auxiliary input now in this second part we're going to show you how to receive that same audio using the uh, the receiver portion the rx portion of the same uh, rf module right very simple design here um what we did was to connect uh the popular lm386 amplifier with two capacitors so one for the input and one for the output that goes to the speaker and then the volume control these are all we have here and then you can see a transistor here and another capacitor because this one uh, connects to speaker directly from here the signal coming from that amplifier was low hence we added the not really added we'll just have a separate amplifier here these two amplifiers are not connected this one goes directly to the speaker but this one uh, goes also directly from the rf module to the speaker the two amplifiers are not connected you can try them to see if you can improve the amplification so we're going to play that the same video uh, from this this uh old phone and um so it's going through youtube so i'm just gonna turn the, the power supply on We're gonna stop it there. So the, the the hissing sound you hear there is coming from the transmitter because even without the amplifier, the sound is still there. If you put the speaker directly from the receiver, you hear the sound, and if you connect the, the lower power amplifier, you still hear the sound. So I think to take care of that, you have to connect a low pass filter before the amplifier. The low pass filter will remove every signal that is of high pitch before it goes into the amplifier. If we have time, we can do this in the future, but we're just trying to demonstrate to you that this is possible. So connect a low pass filter. I will give you a circuit diagram of a low pass filter. Just watch out uh, towards the end of this video. You see a picture of a low pass filter you can connect before the amplifier. I will also show you the circuit diagram of the amplifier. Connect the low pass filter before the amplifier and then use that to control the, the, the signal that gets into the amplifier. The high pitch are high, high, high frequency components. So you can remove that and have only the low frequency component, which is the audio range of human beings, which is like from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. You let that pass and go into it. You can even make it lower. Just make it between make, make maybe like 200, uh, 200 hertz. That way you, you filter out any high pitch so you don't hear that sound from your speaker. All right, I'm going to keep the video short, so um, watch out for the last video in this series, which will be where we try to uh, connect the, the microphone, because right now it's not connected. Uh, it's disconnected here, so we're going to solder it now and come back and demonstrate the, the microphone. We also try another version where we're going to connect extra resistor to see if we can improve the sound coming from this microphone. All right. I'm going to keep this video short on the four minute each. All right. Thanks for sticking around to the end. That will be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again with more contents, stay enthused.